So here I am at New Brighton, hopefully to get some good black and white images. First time out after lockdown. So uh, let's go and see what we can get. I know I need an haircut, but I'm not allowed to start back work yet, so I can't get one done. So hopefully in the next few weeks that will happen. So, I've shot this composition using this pool and the reflection going into the lighthouse, putting the lighthouse on the bottom left hand quarter and capturing this silhouette type shot. I've just took this shot now, as you see, can see, I'm getting some uh, burnout on the left hand side. So I'm going to change over to a reserve, a reverse grad, so to uh, control that light there in that bottom cut, bottom left hand side. As you can see on the reverse grad, the darkest part is on the horizon the light is parted at the top so it controls that whiteness that's coming from the setting sun so I'll put on that, that on now and hopefully I should be able to hold back and blink it a bit So I've just shot these two old gun turrets here with a long exposure. Hopefully getting some nice textures out of the rust and out of the uh, stonework and that. And if it's any good, you can see. Just shooting this scene now using this uh, trail of water as a guideline into the lighthouse with the setting sun behind. Getting some nice cloud above. So silhouetting the lighthouse. So hopefully it's a good shot and if it's any good I'll show it you now. So, getting some nice light now as the sun set and getting a nice afterglow 
I'm using this reflection in this pool to the lighthouse. That's giving me a really nice shot, which I will show you now. So here we have my final shot of the night. So all I'm going to do with this shot now, I'm going to show you how I convert this into a black and white photograph and a couple of little things that I do to enhance my pictures. So this picture has been processed into a JPEG and now I'm going to convert it into my black and white picture. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to crop it into a square because I want this lighthouse exactly in the middle and I quite like the reflection that I got in the pool in the water so I'm going to use that as a square crop so I'll just go over to the crop tool and square and now I'm just going to drag that across into the middle that's about right Happy with that, click that. So now I'm going to convert this into black and white by using silver effects from Nick Collection. Click on Silver Effects Pro. And there we have the image already converted into black and white. I'm just going to bring out a little bit more definition in the sky by using the structure tool just bring that up to around about 23 just to bring that out a little bit there's nothing more else really needs doing with this picture in silver effects so just now happy with that click back across So go up to the top, click duplicate layer and duplicate that silver effects layer. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a graduate filter. So make sure the black is on top of the white and you're on your square filter. So drag that down, level with the light on the lighthouse. Go over to the layer side and just click multiply and lower the opacity. I'm going to lower that down to about 80%. That's given me a change in the scenery and a change in the atmosphere of the picture. So I'll click back on the layer again, Silver Effects Pro 2, and duplicate that layer. So what you're going to do now, you're going to do a graduation from the bottom. Bring that graduation up to the light there. And darken that bit off. Multiply and say, bring that down a bit. So what you've done is you've guided the eye. When people look at this now, you're guiding the eye into the picture with the two graduations that you've put in of what you want people to see which is the lighthouse and the reflection in the water so by doing that you've created an atmospheric black and white photograph so we'll just flatten that off and save that picture And, uh, that's all done quite easy if you get it right in the picture for doing it the first time your black and whites are made easier when you convert them there's not much I don't do much to mine because I always get it right try and get it right in the camera first if you do that you never struggle with your black and white photograph 
as you can see this black and white photograph it's got a strong uh, object with the lighthouse and it makes a good subject and you've got the leading line from the bottom the lighthouse itself reflected leading into the main shot which is the clothes and the lighthouse and it makes an atmospheric black and white photograph which is uh, quite nice for a black and white landscape So I hope you enjoyed my video and what I did at Perch Rock. Uh, why I was uh, also photographing was quite a, f a few photographers and I got quite talking to uh, a couple of uh, two nice ladies. One was doing photography and one was flying a drone. So uh, they made an excellent uh, vlog of Perch Rock. So I'll uh, put a link now to the vlog and oh, go and watch it. It is excellent, excellent photography. And name is uh, Adele Warner Photography. So uh, go and watch that that vlog. Thank you for watching. If you like what I've done, please subscribe. Goodbye.